Hello Nintendo fans, my name is Mario Master, what are we doing today? So, today I am going to be talking about something that has really kind of like bothered me, I guess, um, and it's... That's a bit from my chair. So it's like weird black thing on the floor. So, it is about the Disney CGI live action remake movies. Now, in the past four years, maybe longer, Disney has, hasn't been able to produce a single good movie, I swear. Like, I don't think I can name, a, like, one good recent Disney movie. Most of them are just okay at best. Now, the thing is, is, um, these remakes, animated remakes, the CGI remakes, are all bad. At the worst, they are complete, utter shit. And at the best, they're okay. And they barely skim that bar. Now, my thing is, when it comes to, oh my god, they have Beverly Hills Chihuahua on Disney+. Plus. That's surprising. I remember seeing that movie in, like, on VHS and into Bull Moose. Now, the thing is with the remakes is that they... They're not good. I mean, they're not good. That's just really what it comes down to. You know, I mean... I really can't think of one single good Disney remake movie. All of them have been complete, utter garbage. I'm trying to find, like, a timeline, but I can't do it. But, you know, I mean, like, the thing is, right, with The Lion King, people really like The Lion King, like The Lion King remake. But the only reason people liked Lion King, the remake, is because they changed absolutely nothing about it. It was it was one to one, the exact same fucking movie. Now, that was basically you know almost the same thing with Jungle Book. They changed some stuff with Jungle Book. Um, it wasn't as racist, I guess. I mean, I I don't find the first one racist because. They have a black jazz musician in there. I mean, I guess it's kind of, you know, racist to um, show a um, to show a, a black man as an ape. But, you know, the thing is is there really isn't a good Disney reanimated remake, you know? They're all bad. There's not a single good one. They're all trash. Pinocchio was absolute garbage. Cinderella, which is coming out again. We're getting, like, the 15th Cinderella. Now, mind you, we've gotten, like, 5 billion Cinderellas in, like, the past year. And none of them have been good. And obviously they haven't been in the past year. But we've gotten live action Cinderella's before. And they've all been bad. They've all sucked. Ass. The one good Cinderella is the animated version that Disney first came out with. Now my problem with the Disney reanimated remakes is that they are shitting on the legacy 
that was the original Disney movies. You know, there, there's no passion anymore when it comes into a Disney movie. There's really just nothing going into it. There's nothing going into it. There's no substance. There's no meat to gnaw on. <sighs> and now I see that they're going to be making a Moana 2. Like, how... How is it that Disney, motherfucking Disney, the corporate conglomerate movie make, animated movie making studio, that they are, how is it that they are just running out of fucking ideas? Like, I just don't understand it. They've run out of ideas. They don't know what they're doing at Disney anymore. They really don't. I mean, look at what they have done. Look at what they've done. Like. Fucking Pinocchio. Cinderella. Sleeping Beauty. Which I think they did or are doing. Um, motherfucking Pete's Dragon. Which was atrocious. Jungle Book. Uh, Lion King. They're remaking all these classics. Which in a way, you know, you can get the youth to watch your movies, but not, you know, okay, that's great, have the youth watch your movies, but you could at least not sacrifice the actual fucking meaning, the meat, the actual thing that made the original so good and what made it a cult classic and what makes people still buy the movies till this day and what makes people, you know, still have a VHS tape is, like, they just take it all out. Here's the bone. You know what I mean? It's just soulless. It is so fucking soulless. It's not funny, you know? And I want... I want Disney to be good, but, like, how they're going so far, it's not happening. I mean, like, there's no, once again, there's just no meat. There's nothing anymore. There's no passion when it comes to Disney. There is just nothing. There is nothing. There is no, there's more passion that goes into this YouTube video than there has, there is more passion going into this YouTube video than there has been in fucking Disney for the past fucking 10 years. I, sw I swear to God. Now, to be fair, they have made movies before that were like, okay, and like, alright, this is kind of good, I guess. Like, but the thing is, is that either it's a remake or it's a fucking sequel. Nothing's original anymore. Like, at least, like, the reason why people loved Frozen and Moana so much wasn't because, you know, the songs and the animation were so good, is that it was finally something fresh. It was finally something new that Disney was actually giving us. You know? And it was good. I love Moana. Moana is so good. I haven't watched it in a while. But it's still really good. It's a good movie. I love Moana. You know? But now they're going to be making a Moana 2. And it just makes it so fucking soulless. It just makes the company look so disconnected from the modern world. And what people really want from them. Which is something that is original and something that, you know, brings back that classic Disney style, you know? And they tried it. They've tried it before, but, like, there's no passion behind it. Like, with Wish. Wish was just okay. Strange World was just okay. Honestly, I think Strange World was pretty bad. I mean... I watched it, so I watched Strange World on the plane ride back from London to the U.S., and it was when Strange World was actually still pretty new, I watched it, and it might have been one of the, like, worst things I've watched, and it was on a plane. 
the other op- there weren't many other options. Like, legit, there was... Deadpool, and Deadpool 2, and Strange World. I watched Strange World and both Deadpools, and I don't even, like, I can barely remember what happens in Strange World, you know? And they also tried it with, uh, what was that movie that they came out with? See, and this is the problem, too. None of the movies are, like, memorable anymore. I can name, like, ten classics to you right now because they are the best thing that has ever happened to animation. You know? What was... But, like, what is the one... Um... Has Chris Pratt and... Tom Holland, I think, in it? Okay, like, I'll, I'll read off some things here. Like, Frozen 2, that's a sequel. And I'm gonna try and stick to, like, more recent movies, so I'm being as fair as possible. Rise of the Last Dragon. It wasn't good. I mean, like, I kinda gave it credit for being, like, okay. It wasn't good. It had motherfucking, um... Aquafina in it, and Aquafina is the most annoying person to ever exist ever, I swear to God. I don't know why we feel the need to put Aquafina in absolutely fucking everything. Apparently we do. It bugs the shit out of me that we do. Okay, so 2010s to 2020. Strange World was bad. Wish was bad. Encanto was okay. Encanto was actually better than I was expecting Encanto to be. Encanto was definitely a breath of fresh air when it came to Disney. Ride the Last Dragon was bad. Frozen 2 was a sequel. Wreck-It was bad. Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet was absolutely fucking atrocious. Moana is actually pretty good. That's the furry movie. That's the furry movie. Alright, now we're getting, like, into 2010s. But, like... Ready? I'm gonna... Here's some movies from the... Alright, so... It goes in order from 2010s to 2020. Right? Tangled. Winnie the Pooh the movie. Wreck-It Ralph. Frozen. Big Hero 6, Zootopia, Moana, Wreck-It Ralph, Breaks the Internet, Frozen 2. Like, we're already getting into, like, sequel, like, the worst shit I've ever seen kind of territory. Um, fucking Raya, Encanto, Encanto's actually pretty good. Um, Strange World, Wish. And I think Wish is, like, the most recent thing that Disney has put out. So. But here, ready? 2000s. I'm going to read off some of these. And I guarantee you... I don't even I don't even need to guarantee you. I guarantee fucking to you that these movies are, like... I 100% guarantee these movies are 100% better than any of those movies I just listed off. Emperor's New Groove, Atlantis Lost Empire, Lilo and Stitch, Treasure Planet, horribly unrated. Home on the fucking range, which people hate on way too much. Home on the range is so underrated. Chicken Little, Meet the Robinsons, Bolt, Prince, The Princess and the Frog. Every single one of those movies is infinitely fucking better to any of those movies that I listed off from the 2010s to the 20 to 2020. Every single one. It's not even funny. Like, I just don't understand. Hey, here, right? Even, even fucking here. Like, it's just not a competition. 
20, like 1930s to 1940s, when Disney was really getting their feet off the ground, you know? Bambi, Dumbo, Fan... Fan fucking Tasia? Anyone? Greatest fucking movie ever? Pinocchio, Snow White, fucking 1950s to 1970s, Rescuers, The Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, one of my favorite fucking movies ever, Robin Hood, The Aristocats, Jungle Book, Sword in the Stone, 101 Dalmatians, Sleeping Beauty, Lady and the Tramp, Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, Cinderella, I mean like come on! Hit after hit after hit after hit after hit. And a lot of those are original. Like, Lady and the Tramp. Okay, 101 Dalmatians. Original, I think. Jungle Book, kind of. Aristocats. Original. Robin Hood, it's a furry version, but it's actually a really good movie. The Rescuers. Really good movie. Fucking Fox and the Hound. I think that's based off a book, but I'll give you that one. The Great Detective Mouse, which is really good. Oliver and Company. Um, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, Pocahontas, Hunchback of motherfucking Notre Dame, Mulan, Mulan is based off uh, ancient bullshit, and Tarzan is also based off ancient bullshit. But like, all of these movies are like, amazing, like the best thing ever! And we can't make anything goddamn original because we've run out, apparently. Let's just take, like, take DreamWorks, for example. Sure, yeah, they made Teenage Kraken, but, like, they also motherfucking made Puss in Boots. And they're, they're in that studio right now cooking with Shrek 5. And I guarantee you it's probably going to be one of the greatest movies ever. And what's sad is, like, Pixar, Pixar is, like, every single company that, like, Disney owns is just going down the shitter. I mean, like, <laughs> let's, let's see here. Oh, Disney, uh, Pixar made Onward. That's what I was trying to think of. I watched Onward, I think, on the plane as well. Onward is okay. I mean, like... Toy Story, Bugs Life, Toy Story 2, Monsters, Inc., Finding Nemo, Incredibles, Cars, Ratatouille, motherfucking Wally, one of the greatest movies ever, horribly, like, underrated for some reason, Ah. Uh, Toy Story 3? I mean, like, come on. It's just not a competition. Hell, I would go to say that Cars 2 and Brave are better and, like, are, like, pretty infinitely better than half the shit that every single company, like, that these guys have been pumping out for the last couple years. And that's saying a lot because people shit on Cars 2 and really shit on, you know, Brave. But, like, you look at it now, and it's just, it's not even, like, a question. It's really not. There's really no... It's just not even funny anymore, dude. I mean, like, come on. What, like, what... What are you supposed to do, you know? I mean, it's just... It's not even funny. It's just not... I mean, okay, let me just say here, I really, 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 really want these guys to do better, because 
as of right now, small animation studios and the big ones are doing infinitely fucking better than these guys have been doing for in the last four years. I mean, like, it, they're just a joke at this point. They really are. I mean, like, it's just not... There's just no competition in, like... Sorry, I dropped my TV remote and batteries came out. Like, there's just no competition in to see, like, who is the better animation studio. Because right now, there is no fucking question that Disney and Pixar are have fucking their thumbs up their asses and they are drooling out the mouth. They do not know what they are doing over there. And it is sad. But... Whatever, that's my fucking opinion. You can disagree with it in the fucking comments. <sighs> anyway, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitter, Discord, Patreon, and Twitch. All linked in the description below. Patreon is $1 a month. I do extra videos. And that's it. Peace. Bye. Can't even...